Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be checking out a video titled Why American License Plates Are Such a Mess. And um, I wanna give my two cents, man. Like I love American license plate because you know, they, they, like state to state, it's different, first of all. And then what makes it extremely unique is the fact that you have a variation. So you can have a different license plate, like Florida can have different license plate, like different styles to it. You can customize a license plate. I like those things, right? But I can't lie to you. European license plate, that that nice, you know, look that it has, it really looks classy. I can't, I can't lie to you, it really looks nice. But um, I really wanna find out why, um, you know, the European license plate is actually better than the American. So we're gonna find that out in this video. So thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe and um, let's get right into this video. As of 2020, there were some 270 million registered vehicles in the United States. Each one adorned with a mandatory license plate or two. Or two. And yeah, while yeah. plates appear standardized within states, when you zoom out to the whole country, the system gets, well, downright chaotic. These are just a few of the wildly different plates drivers can get in California, New Mexico, South Carolina, Arizona, South Carolina. the list goes on and on. And in some places, you can put whatever message you want on them. Thanks. Now, let's compare them to their European counterparts. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, Europe. I love you guys so much, but I really actually like the um, uniqueness um, in the American market. I, I love it, I love it, I'm sorry, I love it. It's it's my favorite, I, I love it, right? Uh, I really hope that this video doesn't end with me actually, you know, still loving the American license plate so much, but I, I, I know, I know, the European ones are really unique, nice, and they're direct, right? With the Finland, you have FL, Denmark, I think you have the D, Sweden, I think you just have an S or SW, I don't remember, but you guys have uh, Deutschland, DE, I, I love it, okay? Oh my gosh, man, the, the, the uniqueness, being able to customize your license plate, I, I like it, okay? Plates vary by country, yet they look similar. They and while do. that's certainly less visually interesting, it's a whole lot more effective. Back here in the Very States, brain. our lack of license plate standardization can cause real headaches. American license plates have always been a mess. And that's because from the beginning, each state passed its own rules regarding vehicle registration. Right. In the early days of the automobile, speeders and reckless drivers were causing havoc on city streets. So on April 25th, 1901, New York Governor Benjamin Odell Jr. passed a law requiring vehicle owners to register their cars. Every vehicle had to bear the owner's initials on the back. But there was one catch. It wasn't New York State that issued the plates. Instead, owners were expected to create their own, like this one and this other one. That's and there tight. was another problem. Too many people had the same initials. So in 1903, Massachusetts issued the country's first state-issued license plate to this man. And each tag after that was assigned a number unique to each vehicle. And by 1918, virtually every state had adopted some form of a license plate. It had the registration number in large digits, the two or four digit year number in small lettering on one side, and an abbreviated state name on the other. But in 1931, Pennsylvania ruined this nascent standardization by introducing these. Pennsylvania the first did that? vanity plates. These tags were born out of the car owner's desires to add a personal touch to their <laughs> registration plates. I can't, like, I like it, okay? Like, I literally like it. I like it. I, like, me actually now being in Europe, I've actually missed this customization because I'm like, yo, dude, it would be so nice to actually have a custom text on your license plate. Like, um, to, like, I, I, I have no issue with the standardized, standardized um, you know, type of license plate where it looks the same, but just to have a custom, you know, number or whatever, it would be cool, you know, like, I... Uh. So this is a pretty niche subject. Luckily, I found... I'm Ethan Kraft, and I tell you everything you need to know about license plates. I mean, his TikTok content speaks for itself. Ayo, collector check. I've been collecting license plates for my entire life. There are license plates for Dr. Pepper, Dolly Parton, cheeseburgers, watermelon, potatoes. The only real constant for US license plates is the size. Since 1956, 
All license plates in the US and, and Canada as well, in Mexico, have been six inches tall and 12 inches wide. Because before that, just like, you know, with, with the design and the numbering systems, every state could kind of make their own license plate in whatever dimensions they wanted, which right. was just a nightmare yeah, okay, for right. That's mostly messy. automakers. In most states, the letters and numbers are usually sequential. So one license plate could have a combination that starts with AAA001, and the next plate would show AAA002, so on and so forth. But... It's not that way in every state. You know, uh, Delaware, uh, Oregon, a couple others issue them just randomly and recycle old registrations whenever they're kicked back to the DMV. Then there are vanity plates, which add a whole nother dimension uh, to license plate customization. Most states say nothing offensive or vulgar or in poor taste. Generally, if you think, uh, you know, if you couldn't say it in front of a child, it's probably not allowed on a license plate. Right. And of course, state by state restrictions are different. The state of Maine, up until recently, were the only state that didn't have any rules about what you could put on a vanity license plate. So driving around Maine, you could see license plates with the F word or with sexual innuendo or whatever someone wanted to put on it. And the courts are still trying to figure out what's allowed the states are trying to figure out. <laughs> dude, dude, you can't tell me, Europeans, just be honest with me. Is this not cool? Look at what is on the screen. Imagine a license plate with oops on it. Like, let's be real. Like, license plate is not that, what do you'd say, what do you'd say, big of a deal where um, text is, is, is going to make it bad, in my humble opinion. Like, the, the extra customization on the license plate, I get that. But with just the the text, I think I think that's pretty cool. I, I think it's cool, man. And now I'm probably gonna be disagreeing with my audience. Oh my God, I hate that. Free guidelines all that stuff. And while this myriad <laughs> of plates makes for fun TikToks, this haphazard system often creates legal and logistical nightmares. Really? To help explain why, let's look across the pond. Oh. Here, license plates are issued nationally and come in a standard issue size. All European Union nations and the United Kingdom have this blue band with a letter that indicates the country the car is registered in. Right. From here, there are little variations with the numbering and lettering schemes and stickers. I want to start with a quick lesson on how to read a modern German plate. The first two letters are a region code, and there are hundreds of these all over Germany, but because on this plate the first two letters are RS, we can easily tell that it was issued in the city of Remscheid. Then in the middle of every German license plate are two stickers. On the bottom is a validation sticker from one of Germany's 16 states, and in this case it's from Nordrhein-Westfalen. And on the top is a safety test seal, which is renewed every two or three years in Germany. And then the last section of the plate is just a random string of two letters and up to four numbers. U.S. state and law enforcement officials say that the lack of standardization is a public safety concern. Really? For example, Arizona currently offers 53 specialty plate designs, which about 1.8 million Arizona drivers use. This can pose a significant challenge when identifying a plate as from Arizona. So say someone steals How? a car with specialty ear. How? But Arizona is on the plate. Like every state plate has the name at the top. Every single state plate I've seen. I'm not a state, I'm not a plate genius, but every state plate has uh, the name. Ohio, Arizona, they have it. South Carolina, Florida, it's there. The name is actually on it. So how can you not identify the, 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 the plate, like where it's from? Like it's there. Arizona plates and hightails it to Colorado. Police there would likely have difficulty identifying the car as being from Arizona. To make matters worse, several personalized American plates can technically feature the same letter number combination, just as long as the type of license plate is different. In New Hampshire, for instance, you can have a personalized license plate that's- Okay, well that's BS. You can't do that. You can't do that. Like, it's it, it should be just like, if you personalize the license plate, it should just be one word, and if somebody else has it, you can't get it. I don't agree with that, but um, I don't see how you can get it confused with the state though, because the state is always on it. However, I do agree, it gets messy because they're explaining this right now and it does get messy with that little part where you can actually have, you know, different variants of the same customization as long as it has different, uh, you know, like a design plate. It's moose. And if you have it on a standard license plate, you can also have moose on a veteran license plate and a wildlife license plate and repeat that letter and number combination as many times as you want as long as it's on a different type of license plate. 
Now, some That's argue fast. that license plates used in Europe may look too similar to each other. This can make identifying individual plates even harder, especially from a distance. But the standardized coding system, along with the bigger plate size, helps make pinpointing different plates a little bit easier. So what are states doing now to make plate readability more efficient? This isn't required throughout the contiguous United States, but the American Association of Motor Vehicle Administrators calls for standardized fonts and sizes and that the full state name be conspicuously listed in the top center of the license plate. But the former governor like of Ohio that, signed a bill in 2013 allowing plates to be made out of material other than galvanized steel, which can rust and affect readability. And in Texas, a new design dubbed the Texas Classic is now available, and it features larger plate characters and a more centered grouping. Some entrepreneurs have taken it upon themselves to make plate readability yesterday's problem. Since 2009, Granite Bay-based company Reviver has been designing and implementing digital license plates in several states throughout the U.S. Wow. These are meant to make plates more standardized while still offering drivers flexibility in displaying personalized messages. California, Arizona, and Michigan have already legalized digital tags. I've never seen it And several digital. other states like wow. Florida and Texas look to be next. Okay, Florida, okay, Texas. But this technology is still in its infancy. And there are some privacy concerns about smart plates that transmit and store personal data over the air. Right. Not to mention each one would set drivers back several hundred dollars, Whoa. plus a monthly service fee and installation costs. So Whoa. for the near future, it looks like the traditional metal plates are here to stay. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if this video was a setup because um, I think from the jump, I was, you know, okay with the United States plates. However, um, I think what might have happened was that um, the plate comparison that was being done with the European plate comparison and the American was from way back. It seems as if that was a comparison because she already said there's laws in this and there's laws in that. Because the thing is, um, I'd imagine, I'd, what I think is the only issue with the uh, customization, with the name customization, is it should not be repeated unless it's my plate and I can put it on multiple vehicles off mine. So it all comes back to the one person um, all the time, right? But um, I think it's beautiful to be able to customize your plates. Like, I, I like customizations. I get Europe. Europe is not, you know, going to really have that because it's European Union. So, you know, it's it's going to have a standardized plate type, which is not a bad thing. I actually do believe that it's quite unique and it's beautiful, actually. But, um, yeah, it's... I do love the American place, I, I must say. But um, you guys can let me know what y'all feel in the comment section down below. Don't dislike the video like a shit ton just because I, you know what I'm saying? But I really do like the European plates. I just like the Americans one, the American customization a lot more. But either ways, man, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Peace.